friends and in this video we are going to explain a simple concept uh, using a loop it says that how to reverse a number like the user will be entering a number like this this is the input and the output of the program will be like this Four, three, two, one. This is called reversing of number. This one can also be used in the idea of checking whether a number is palindrome or not, because palindrome numbers are the numbers which are same when they are reversed. If they are different, then you can say the numbers are not palindromes. For example, suppose here the idea is that how to do this. So the algorithm to develop this idea goes like this. First, you have to start with this number 1, 2, 3, 4. This is the number entered by the user. And then you have to find the this digit, unit space digit. And how will you find that? You will find it by using modular operator. It means if you divide this number 1, 2, 3, 4 by 10, you will get uh, a number. Suppose here, right? Number you get as 4. Then we will try to convert this 123, uh, this 1, 2, 3, 4 by a number like if we divide it by 4, 1, 2, 3 divided by 10 and this will become 123.4 and if you typecast it into the integer value, so this will become 1, 2, 3. So we will continue doing the same thing in a loop till the number becomes greater than zero like the, till the number becomes a negative like we will stop it just before becoming negative because uh, it from the one two three four it will become 123 and then it will become 12 and then become one and then goes negative but we will work only till this because by this we have been able to separate the this is at the unit place 4, 3, 2, 1. Now, this is what we are going to do. Now, let's go to, uh, start the coding. So, the code is here. Yes, I have taken the number from the user and I have stored it into another variable called x, y because if you keep on dividing the number and storing the value in itself then the original number will be lost so i have just made one copy of the number so that i will be working on the variable x but the original number will be staying together in this memory cell n so now i have just declared one variable called the reverse number zero then i put the loop while x greater than zero then digit this is another number or you can say another variable which stores the digit because if x modular 10 will give you the digit at the unit place and that will be converted and then i take the idea of this number 10 into reverse number initially the reverse number is zero so reverse number is zero so 10 into zero plus the first digit we are getting is four so the reverse number will become 4 at the end of this 4 next time it will become 10 into 4 plus i'll add this 3 to it so this will become 43 slowly slowly i'll find the number so this is the number goes like this and then i print the number let's check so here i run it enter the number i enter number one two three four and then it is printing the number four three two one because this is the number has been printed four three two one now if you want to check whether the number is palindrome or not then you can say if rev number equals equals n means the reverse number is equal to this then it is called palindrome and else not a palindrome 
else print not a palindrome. Now let's run it. And here I enter the number one to one because if the one to one is reversed, it will remain one to one. So say it says it's palindrome. If I enter another number like uh, three four five two three four, it says it is not a palindrome. And if you want to check the number also that what the number has been formed, you just type cast the ref number ref number and then you will get the number like one three one three nine so this is not a palindrome and it shows the number is 91 this is how we can achieve it thank you very much subscribe to our channel stay tuned and have a nice time we will discuss a few more programs just in order to clear your ideas and if you want to study live with us then you also can email us and we will come back to you Thank you.